Hey guys, sorry about the lighting, but the sun is about to go down and we're in front of my big window. So yeah, I really do not want to edit too much of this video because it's literally just like a diary entry to myself. So hopefully one day I can look back and I don't know, but I haven't been doing that great with my mental state towards my body. I, 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 I just don't know what's wrong with me because I just, I feel big. When I feel big, I feel really off. Um, I have been training so, so hard. And I just feel like maybe I know, oh, hello. I, I just don't know what, what it is. I think like I've mentioned, I've been dealing with this body image problem for my whole life. And like, even sometimes I will, I know there's something like you see your body bigger than what it is. And I'm just, I'm just I'm fucking struggling. Like. I am so tired of standing in the mirror and poking at my belly and pulling at my belly because it's not flat enough and I'm working so hard and I'm not, I feel like I'm not seeing results even though everyone else can see them. I can't see them and it's, I've just gotten to a point where I'm like, I'm not as motivated as I normally am. And everyone just saying I'm putting so much pressure on myself and I don't know why I'm putting so much pressure on myself. I feel like this year has been such a mental fuck and I'm so sorry I'm going to swear throughout this video but it's literally been a mental fuck. I've been just an emotional mess every single day. I feel like there's just a point where I feel really low. And I wouldn't say I'm depressed. I don't think I am. I've been depressed and I'm not there. I I have like crazy anxiety. I'm overthinking everything. And like a part of anxiety, you can really overthink things. And I feel like I'm overthinking everything. Like I even think like Muffy is going to leave me because I'm just so freaking scatterbrained at the moment. Like I'm all over the place. I am... Like, and when I'm going through like this type of thing and my brain, it just feels like it's just going a million miles an hour. I crave sugar and I've just been eating chocolate and lollies, but my meals have been good and my training has been good. It's just the snacking and it's just driving me insane. I'm, I've been feeling really guilty for snacking so much. I don't even know why I'm filming this, but I just, I just want to talk and be real with you. This is who I am. This is my channel. I am 100% raw and I vlog my life and this is how I am. There's times where you're going to see multiple videos like this because I can't, I can't keep this shit to myself anymore because I'm, I, I don't know if I should go see someone about it, but, and you just, it's just like, oh, I even said in like a video, like, you gotta, you gotta trust the process and you've got to, you've got to like not compare, but it is so hard not to compare. Like I see girls and they've got like multiple kids and their bodies are so snatched and I'm like, fuck, like how the fuck do you do that? Like, and I'm still trying to learn like everybody's different and everybody, every body like body is different and mine just takes forever and I fucking hate that like I'm working so hard and I'm like I have all these goals like at the end of the year I would love to wear like in summer I want to wear shorts and be proud of myself and be comfortable in summer and not feel like I need to cover up because I feel like everyone I like literally if I wear a dress that's above my knees I feel like everyone stares at me and I'm like Tomas people are staring at me and he's like no they're not but in my head, everyone is staring at me and I'm like overthinking. Like I see people, like I'm just so sick of being 
I feel like I'm a turtle and when I get to a point oh please do not come upstairs then Dale I feel like I just am not myself every single day like when people talk to me that I feel like I go into a shell and I'm like <gasps> like I freak out like if someone says hello to me at the gym and then try to start somewhat of a conversation deep down I'm freaking out like and on the outside I might not be like seem it but on the inside I'm freaking out I'm not all I think of is like they think I'm fat they think I'm this they think I'm this I'm, they think I'm this like this is how my brain has worked and this is how my brain has worked for a very long time and I just feel like I have put so much pressure on myself. I'm still recovering from my miscarriage in February and I just feel like because my due date is coming up, it's really fucked me over. It fucked me up in the brain. Like, I'm seeing everyone announcing that they're pregnant and everyone's having their babies and I'm just not having anything. I feel like this year I've had nothing to look forward to. I feel like I put all this focus on working out and it's such a stress reliever for me but I feel like I'm not working out to have that for me i feel like i'm working out because i want a flat stomach and some people work out for that but i started working out to yeah lose weight but then it became my therapist and i don't think when i'm working out and i put my headphones on and i listen to music or podcasts and i'm in my own world but not in my own brain and I don't even know where the fuck this is going to, but like, it's just hard because just everything emotionally that I've gone through this year, it's just, just crazy and like, I'm just overthinking everything and I don't know what I'm going to do next month because like, it's nearly October and I was due at the beginning of October and October's going to go come and go and... I'm not going to have what I was supposed to It's just so hard. Oh my god. See what happens when you overthink? You just... You just... Oh, it just drives me insane and I hate that I am this way. I hate that I cannot be 100% myself and I hate that... I can't warm up to people quick like there's literally maybe two friends that I have that I can be a hundred percent myself without feeling like they're judging me like I close up so quick and like and then I feel like I'm missing out on life and I'm missing out on having friendships but when I put myself in a situation like a group situation I just like I freak out and it's just like I don't know I don't know but I just wanted to film this because one day when I'm in a good headspace and like I just want to be in a place where I'm like you know what Taylor you're curvy and you got to love yourself and you've got a mum tum and your legs are thick and jiggly and I just wish I can be happy and I see girls on Instagram and they're big girls and they're so comfortable. I'm like, how the fuck do you get like that? Like, I just wish I could have that mentality to be like, yeah, I'm happy. Like, I'm not going to let this control my life. I'm not going to let this define me. I'm, I'm working on myself. I'm going to the gym. I'm doing as much as I can. But like, and like, I feel like because it's what, nearly October. We're like two months away from summer. And I'm like, I'm not going to reach my goals. And they're not goals that are unrealistic. It's just, I feel like even if I got my legs to a spot where I'm comfortable to wear shorts, um, I probably still wouldn't be happy. And I feel like I'm scared that if I'm going to get to 
where I feel like I'm going to be okay, like comfortable with my body, will I still be happy? Like all this hard work and all this shit that I've been thinking, is it going to pay off in the end? And I don't know. And I've been training since I was like 21 and my body has changed dramatically, but like, I just go through these stages where it's just like, bah, bah literally rambled on for like 10 minutes so i'm just gonna shut up now and finish this video <laughs>